summertime and beach volleyball go together like peanut butter and jelly. So today we're taking a look at Summer Heat Beach Volleyball, which was one of several volleyball games in the early 2000s that experienced a revival in popularity mainly due to the improved graphics of the PlayStation and Xbox over previous game systems. Now it turns out, regardless of content, if you stick an attractive girl on the cover, there's a good chance preteen boys, among others, will give it a look. And you know what? That's probably just as true today as it ever was. In fact, let's give it a try. Two Summer Heat Beach Volleyball was advertised as the only beach volleyball game for the PlayStation 2 with 12 beachfront locations and a hodgepodge of gameplay options that include arcade, exhibition, tournament, and training modes, plus a handful of mini games. On the surface, there at least seems to be a good bit of variety. On top of all that, there are over 200 unlockables and an early 2000s soundtrack featuring some of the biggest summertime bubblegum hits from artists such as Pink, Sam 41, and Kyle Minogue. They sure do seem like uh, they're packing plenty into a relatively straightforward game, but is it any good? Or is it just another uh, in a long line of lousy games banking on girls in skimpy bikinis to spark sales? Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's take a look. Hello and welcome to Silver Sand Beach here on the East Coast. The weather is wonderful as we settle down in these gorgeous surroundings. So chill out, enjoy yourself, and let's watch some beach volleyball. Summer Heat Beach Volleyball, aptly enough, is a beach volleyball game that was released by Acclaim in 2003 for the PlayStation 2. Right off the top, I'll admit volleyball isn't my strong suit. Growing up, the closest beach was two hours away and mostly filled with jagged rocks. When I moved to California many years ago, I did live in beach cities such as Huntington Beach and Seal Beach, where beach volleyball was a more widely enjoyed pastime. But being 5'10 with a 2 inch vertical leap did me no favors. So I'm no expert when it comes to volleyball, and even less of an expert when it comes to beach volleyball video games. So what you're getting is an outsider's perspective to say the least. As mentioned in the intro, when games like this hit the shelves, I always figured they were just lame, watered down, softcore porn wrapped in a video game. Kind of like how Shannon Tweed movies were softcore porn wrapped inside a lousy movie, which were a lot more palatable to me in my teen years than these games ever were. Ball in. To my surprise, Summer Heat Beach Volleyball didn't actually lean into softcore territory too much. Sure, there are plenty of attractive girls of the PlayStation 2 composite video era, with a slew of wardrobe options and whatnot, but nothing too scandalous even for the time. However, competing games such as Outlaw Volleyball and Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball, both for the Xbox, leaned heavily into softcore territory. In fact, Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball flat out included nudity which still remains a rarity in console games and caused this game to get tagged with the rare Mature rating. Rated M for Mature. <laughs> play with a friend or play with yourself. Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball, Tecmo, 100% games. For hot beaches, there's no power greater than X. Extreme Beach Volleyball was one of a handful of games that lauded the use of jiggle physics, where emphasis was put on a female character's breasts and how they bounced in a sometimes exaggerated manner. 
It's kind of funny to think this was such a priority, they coined an actual term for it. And to be honest, jiggle physics is fun to say, but I'm not here to talk about the bounciness of those games, so back to Summer Heat Beach Volleyball. Summer Heat Beach Volleyball includes a training mode to get you acclimated to the game. Plus, there are three additional mini-games called Nerd Smash, Ice Corp, and Beach Bowls. Beach Bowls is similar to bocce, where you toss a volleyball to try to get as close as you can to a target ball. Whoever throws the closest ball to the target ball wins. Ice Court is a decent concept. It's essentially a regular volleyball game that's played on a sheet of ice, dangled over a cliff. Each time the ball hits the ground, the ice begins to crack, until eventually the ice sheet gives way and the losing team plummets to their frigid death. And in Nerd Smash, you line up on one side of the court with your opponent, and the objective is to spike targets as they pop up on the opposite side of the court, with the highest value target being the nerd, who's portrayed in a stereotypical white shirt, dark glasses, and pork chop haircut. The nerd actually appears as another unlockable where you use his head as the ball. And would you believe the code to unlock Nerd Ball is Gollum? as in the clay monster of Jewish folklore? If whoever came up with that idea for a code wasn't part of the tribe, he really had some chutzpah to sneak it in. There's actually one more quasi-bonus part of this game referred to as Beach House, and from what I can tell, it's your opportunity to simulate a home invasion. You start outside by the pool where you case the joint for soft entry points, and once inside, you slink room to room defiling the sanctity of the homeowner. When you reach the bathroom, probably to rifle through the medicine cabinets for prescription drugs you can flip on the street, it's discovered the shower is still running. Have the owners been alerted to your presence and scurried out in a panic? Well, the police are slow to respond, so you don't need to sweat it. All kidding aside, the entire existence of this house is for you to watch music videos from the game's soundtrack on the TV, or to watch commercials for other acclaimed games on the laptop in the kitchen, neither of which warrant the existence of any of this. But if you like the idea of running amok in a stranger's house while they're not home, well, this is right up your alley. As for the meat of this game, it was an arcade, exhibition, and tournament mode, and they all essentially play the same and only vary in match length or overall gameplay length. Playing and succeeding in the longer exhibition and tournament modes will win you unlockables, such as additional players or alternate player outfits. The game follows the basic rules of beach volleyball. Two teams of two players each face off, one player serves the ball, and play begins. The objective is to land the ball on the ground within the play area of the other team's side. Players alternate hitting the ball, 
There are up to three volleys per turn, and the ball must go over the net no later than the third hit. And that's pretty much it. So, brass tacks, how does the game play? Well, pretty good. In fact, a lot better than I expected. Once you get a hang in the mechanics, the game controls are fairly intuitive. And the back and forth, fast paced action is fluid without being dizzying. Summer Heat Beach Volleyball plays about as close to a real volleyball game as you'd hope for in a video game. Which, compared to its contemporaries, was a novel concept. Now this game isn't perfect. The early 2000s 12 song soundtrack will drive you nuts pretty quick. By the third time Pink's Get the Party Started drones over you, you'll be begging for the party to stop. And while the gameplay is decent overall, I'm not sure it has much in the way of legs. I mean, unless you're a volleyball aficionado, and let's face it, it's a pretty niche sport, I can't imagine this was too high on anyone's play rotation. In fact, this game did poor sales when it debuted in 2003, and by 2004, the claim would file for bankruptcy and end up out of the gaming business altogether. And all the jiggle physics in the world wasn't going to stop that from happening. Touch! Court change! These days, you can find copies of this game on the cheap. And with that being the case, it's definitely worth a look. I doubt it's something anyone would play regularly, but it's fun enough to pop in every once in a while and a great time capsule game that takes you back to 2003. So if you want to immerse yourself in nostalgia from the same year Californians recalled their governor to then turn around and elect the Terminator, or the same year Britney and Christina kissed Madonna at the VMAs, or the same year everyone was hell-bent on finding Nemo, then check out Summer Heat Beach Volleyball. Unless, of course, you're either Steve Bartman or you worked on the Space Shuttle Columbia because 2003 probably isn't worth revisiting. <laughs>